Welcome to another day. I'm going to decide today what uh, I'm going to do as far as weapons. I think I'm going to put a bow and quiver on his back. A shield and a spear in this hand. Now, I'll figure all that out as I work on this. Time to get busy. I have the uh, arm off of the uh, figure that I use, the uh, an anatomical figure, and, it, and I use it for the muscles. And it's, it's nice to be able to take the arm off. Let me get the other arm off. This one has the hand and everything, so... Uh, this is actually the one I should be using for this uh, side, so that's what I'm going to do. Length of a length of a spear carried by a warrior um, could show how brave that warrior was. The longer the spear, the less brave. The shorter the spear, uh, the braver, uh, because it meant that he had to get in closer to use his spear than uh, a warrior that had a really long spear. This one's going to have a long blade. Made from uh, maybe a, a a sword blade or a, a knife blade or something like that, and um, I'm gonna just uh... all right. I've softened up uh, some wax that I've got here. This is Victory Brown wax. I get it from the foundry that uh, casts my artwork. They use it in the casting process. They'll they melt this and pour it into the uh, mold, the rubber mold, um, to uh, make a hollow wax copy of the original. And um, it's it's too uh, so it may be too soft to run through my pasta machine. I'm going to take the thicker part, which seems a little cooler, and run this through the, the pasta machine. Be right back. All right, this has uh, been run through the pasta machine. Uh, many of you have probably seen me already use a pasta machine in the past. Um, I got a pasta machine that uh, you can roll out the uh, flat 
pasta as well as the spaghetti different sizes I uh, find it a very useful tool for purposes like this I'm just cutting out a strip that I'm going to wrap around the uh, spear just makes it easier and then I put the uh, copper tubing which is a eighth inch copper tubing down on the wax and then I just uh, simply uh, roll it uh, into the wax and that's how I get an even or semi even coating of wax on the uh, armature or the copper tubing and then you can roll it back and forth on your cutting board to even it out even more there we go now I'm going to make the uh, spear point here this is just roughed I'm going to actually do a better one later on but I just want to get a feel for what it's going to look like on the uh, guy okay, I like that positioning it's uh, sort of flows a little bit better now I'll make the shield out of the same wax and the reason I'm doing it in wax is because I it just holds the shape better and when you're doing something flat and round in clay it has a tendency to want to be uh, banged around a little bit so the shield would usually just cover the chest it wouldn't be any bigger than that now that's the standard uh, it, everything depended on the uh, warrior uh, what his uh, vision was as far as uh, his shield and uh, and such like that now the shield would have a strap to it which would be made of leather of course now the reason I cut off the uh, strap right there is because I want to this going across his chest just right I need to lift that up lift up the hair and have it going underneath the uh, front leg of the uh, wolf right there and then I'll just uh, combine the two all right what I'm going to do is just uh, indicate fur texture with this tool here it's just a metal tool like a dental tool I have a candle next to the uh, sculpture here and I'm just putting the uh, metal tool into the candle to uh, heat it up and that uh, allows it to go through the uh, clay a little bit softer a little easier without uh, a lot of distortion. I'm right. going to do that differently. Let's see. Now the fur is that there's a long length of skin between the uh, shoulder of the uh, leg and the wolf up to the head and so when he ties it around his neck he's bunching up a lot of fur uh, behind his head and that's what I need to show is is that bunching up of that fur Uh, making it look like he's got a growth on his back 
fur is laid upon each hair each, is on each hair like uh, shingles on a roof that you would start from the uh, bottom and just layer your texturing all the way up from below to up so that you get that uh, look of layer of fur upon layer of fur at least that's what I'm trying to do here and uh, I'm going to go back over it with lighter fluid to melt the clay a little bit and cut down on the heavy duty inner holes because uh, the more they have to clean out the more costly it gets. Now I'm taking kind of a swing up to make the fur just rise a little bit right there. You can see the flame right here <laughs> that I'm using. There's quite a bit of fur inside the ear and that's what I'm trying to do. Show that I'm going to do the eyes. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to press in the clay where the eyes are. Putting the clay on real soft where the forehead of the animal would be. decided to uh, put the shield on the other side and uh, the reason for that is because I like the design of it here I have decided to make the shield out of clay because I'm going to re redo the uh, shields positioning and uh, it's, it's for design uh, purposes I just think it'll look better on this side of the horse or the rider than on the other I I really like this line right here and I don't want to do anything to destroy that line so I'll make the shield out of clay instead of wax because it uh, will hold up fine because I'm going to fill in completely behind it and that'll strengthen it The other strap would be hidden underneath the fur, so I'm not even going to bother with that. And this is why I usually do the spear last, because I hit it and I bend the uh, point. But uh, the uh, bottom edge of this uh, would uh, more than likely have some fringe on it, just to add a little design to it. So we'll pick this up next week and see how far we get. I've got to uh, a trip to the foundry next week uh, to color a new bronze that's coming out. And uh, so I'll get as much done as I can. I, I would like to get it done next week. It'd be kind of neat. All right, I like uh, the positioning of this a lot better now. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out if I want to make this a complicated shield or make it a a simple shield. Uh, right now I'm not sure. Alright, see you guys next week and uh, have, a, have a great weekend.